I know a lot of people probably thought we'd just become infatuated with Airstreams and we were going to go just <laughs> straight away buy one, which is not the case. Uh, we were just checking those out. Uh, we're now at our second place to check some stuff out. It's RV Four Seasons, and um, they've got a variety of things. We're going to... Yeah. Which is what we're looking for. We're just trying some things out, exploring our options, kind of seeing what um, what might be a good fit for us. We weren't videoing the last time we went through this process of changing RVs, so we want to take you guys with us while we do that this time. So we've, we've kind of got, you know, um, some must-haves and nice-to-haves, you know, that have changed over time. Uh, to us right now, a must-have is at least 35 foot or less. We're kind of hoping for, th we maybe even 30 feet or less is, is where we're at on that. <laughs> um, a must-have would be a sleeping place for our daughter. A nice to have would be a place for her to play. I'm still not convinced that I can give my washer and dryer up. I'm uh, kind of hanging on to that, which I know a lot of people, you know, do this without that, but it's just so convenient. I don't know, especially with a toddler and all the, you know, <laughs> the <laughs> outfit changes we go through and the mess. So I don't know. I'd say a must have as well is when we walk down the middle of the RV, I don't want to have to turn sideways. Um, so that'll take out, it would already be taken out because no. of Marissa anyway. She wants. And I'm just a little nervous. I really love the traveling aspect of the class a and i'm kind of nervous about giving that up too so those are a few of the things that i'm just not quite sure about yet there is so much give and take in the rv world like there's so many great options out there but you just have to decide what's most important to you it's hard you you just can't have it all we'll see what we can find here okay first one we're stepping foot in is an outback 324 cg said cg Yep. <laughs> and this is... Matt. Matt. This is Matt here with us. He's uh, giving us full access <laughs> to even the uh, secret areas maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this first one's a pretty cool layout. Uh, it's kind of a, a toy hauler slash uh, bedroom in the back. Um, we'll check that out first because that's a little bit what different. I guess it's in the front. Well, the front. It's actually in the front, yes. Yeah, something you, a little different about this one. You've um, got the uh, living room kitchen in the middle and then bedroom in the back. Yeah. So we'll start with the toy hauler area. It, then you do access it on the side. It and uh, it's really good size back here. I mean, there's a lot of room. Yeah, you've got your twin bunk here and then there's, is this a twin as well? Yeah. Yeah, so you got twin bunk beds, some storage. We thought these were really cool when we first started looking for a family. We thought you can make this space a bedroom or however you want it. It's very versatile. That's what we like about the toy haulers. So, so beyond the room in the front, we got a living room slash kitchen area. Um, I guess what kind of stands out, we were asking about this, when, it's, when the slides are in, you are going to have a high, hard time getting past this area right here. You could probably crawl over the couch to do it, but that is something... That's something uh, we encountered with our, with our fifth wheel is we couldn't access it when it was slid in. So there are times, you know, we love being able to access it for boondocking or going down the road without sliding out, as well as we showed up at an RV park and there was no power and we weren't, we didn't have a generator, we weren't able to even get in our RV. So that's just something we kind of look for that you don't really think about. Bathroom. It's pretty good storage. Pretty good amount of storage in there. Yeah. And then here's the bedroom in the back. We do like the door instead of the <laughs> privacy curtain, so. No, it's not a not a bad option. Uh, so it's 32 feet, uh, the body, but once you add on the hitch, you're talking, you know, 35, 36. So that's kind of at the top of the lengthwise what we're looking for. But if you want that separate room in the back, I mean, you're, you're gonna be bumped above the 30 foot range we're aiming for. You're gonna be in the, you know, 33, 34, 35, 36 foot range. So second one we're looking at is a Spartan 1032 fifth wheel. Um, and we'll start with the main reason we love this one. And the main reason this is one of the things, you kind of see a theme going here because of the flexibility is the toy hauler theme. And uh, this one's got the toy hauler in the back. So it's, you'll see that layout more than the ones on the side that we looked at with the trailer. So this one's 10, we believe 10 feet in the back. Um, with the party deck, 
And that's <laughs> one of the things we really love, just the flexibility. Look at all this space you get in the back for our kids. So much playroom, or if yes. you had people over, you can maximize the outdoor space. And it has a washer dryer. <laughs> this is what I'm excited about. We really like this setup. We do, we do. And uh, of course, flexibility wise, you've got two different beds that come down. Typically, at least to me, it seems like um, you're going to notice the toy haulers let in more light, seems like, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, than a lot of your regular fifth wheels. Um, so quite a bit of light coming in here. You've got in the middle, you've got the living room kitchen, which I mean, this is all we would need. This is a great size couch. Um, we love the flat stove top. That's a big deal to us. Marissa, are you okay with that fridge? Um, yeah, this is definitely awesome. <laughs> I'm really liking this. <laughs> I mean, this is nice. I mean, it feels very homey in here. You've got your uh, fireplace, TV. Master bedroom, um, pretty roomy. you got a walk around, storage here for clothes, storage for there me. for clothes. Yeah, there's a hers and a hers. That's pretty large. That is large. So you got a pass-through bathroom. And I do like, I know Marissa would like this, you've at least got a footstool. I mean, that's, that's, I think that's all we're asking for, right? I mean, a seat would be yeah. nice, but at least a footstool. For uh, when I shave my legs, so you're not supposed to tell them you shave yeah, your legs. Yeah, that is a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Show them your legs. <laughs> Here, proof. <laughs> I'm way behind. Okay, I really so. like this one. It's a great option. We were, I mean, toy haulers are some of the first things we looked at mm -hmm. for uh, when we were searching for family stuff, and I was a little hesitant about them in the beginning, just. You know the ruggedness i think of it but i think it's so versatile that yeah. it's a great option we i mean we could do whatever we wanted in that back room i mean it's a blank space that's what i really love yeah. so you can change it however you want it length yeah one problem about this <laughs> yeah. one it's just a tad bit longer than what we wanted it's 36 feet so i don't know that we would go down from 39 to 36 would make it worthwhile but it has a 10 foot toy hauler area in the back so i think it would be feasible to find something like this that would be 34 feet let's check out the next one okay so this is a fury 2910 travel trailer and uh we wanted to show this layout this is something we're looking at too is i don't know could you do a toy hauler travel trailer just thinking outside of the box because um, you're going to get the extra usually larger water tank extra carrying capacity and you still use the toy hauler area for uh, you know if you got kids that kind of thing and we're, we're a little underwhelmed at part of the area and we'll show you some stuff to watch out for i guess we'll kind of turn this one into a uh we like half of it and maybe not crazy about half of it type <laughs> deal it's not as big and open and bright as the fifth wheel toy hauler i feel a little there's a lot of wood going on, pretty enclosed. But you don't feel as cramped as the Airstream. That Airstream is actually smaller than I this. I do, but you could see down the Airstream. Yeah. You can't see down in this one. It's just like a tight room because it's got all this wood yeah, and doors. Think... Like the Airstream has windows and it's got where you can see all the way down. It makes it feel bigger. Something ain't working here. We don't know what yet. <laughs> uh, it's well, only got... what we liked about the toy hauler was I wanted Hensley to be able to have her own space and we could just leave that back door open and see in where she was playing and we could move the party through uh -huh. the outdoors. Um, but this one you have to like go through the bathroom to get to the toy hauler part and I don't know if I'm crazy about that. Well, let's, let's check it out. Smaller fridge too, only a six cubic fridge. So, so it'd be like, come join the party. Yeah, just hopefully so and so is not still uh, using it. <laughs> Which <laughs> it does have a. I, I like the tub. Which you do have the out, you know, a, a different entrance, so you don't have to go through the bathroom. But we wanted to be able to, you know, come and play with Hensley and her come back and forth. And I don't know, going through the bathroom isn't the best. I'm just wondering if I could do this i know with our first travel trailer i had a problem with the bedroom being so close to the kitchen i felt like i was in bed all day so i think there's a little bit of separation here maybe you got um, two i mean you do have a you know you can get it's kind of a walk around bed so i mean it's not you can at least I mean, walk on each side we use our bedroom you know for sleeping so it is kind of i can see wasted space sometimes uh -huh. 
Um, but I just want it to be a separate space. It doesn't have to be a huge space, but separate is kind of my preference. A lot of these, it's, it's not a right or wrong type thing. It's just a preference thing. For us, we like to have, when friends or family are, we want it to sort of flow into the back. But I could definitely see where it'd be an advantage to, uh, if you wanted two totally separate living spaces where you could have somebody stay in the back part, have it separated by a bathroom, and then have a separate living space up here in the room we're in right now. So really appreciate RV4 Seasons letting us come out here, take a look at the RVs. Um, definitely saw some different layouts. Whether or not you're sure you're gonna buy one in a lot or brand new or used, I mean, just it takes some research, it really does. And uh, Just getting in them and seeing how you feel and if it feels like home. Yeah, yeah. Some of them spoke to us today and some of them didn't. And <laughs> um, uh, We're gonna go on from there, kind of sleep on it and we're gonna keep searching. We know we're not, we're not done, but uh, just keep chipping away and seeing what works. And we may end up coming right back to our good old <laughs> Newmar Motorhome, who knows? <laughs>